Marion County Sheriff's Department is taking precautions to make sure your trick-or-treaters are safe this Halloween. Convicted sex offenders will be preoccupied at the Police Training Academy during the time kids will be going door-to-door -door for treats. Derek Thomas has that story. On Halloween night, all Marion County registered sex offenders must report here at 6 o'clock to the training academy. If they don't, deputies will go find them. This was a view last year when sex offenders gathered at the training academy on Halloween. This roundup program is funded by a half a million dollar federal grant obtained back in 2010. 943 known offenders will be ordered to report. The McCullough house on the far east side is decorated with spooky decorations. Whitney McCullough is pleased deputies will be on the but, case. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I, with everything that goes on every day, I do worry about that kind of stuff. Her daughter, Kiera, is pumped up about trick or treating. I'm going to be a, um, I'm going to be super uh, superwoman. Superwoman? Yes. Trick or treat. Despite that enthusiasm and the fact that known sex offenders will be under wraps, parents should not let down their guard. Nothing in law enforcement is typically foolproof. There are uh, the possibility that, and there frankly is, uh, an offender out there somewhere in this county who's not known and not registered, and that's throughout the state. So I, I ask that the public, the parents, consider it a, a tool, but uh, not a foolproof plan. Deputies have been periodically checking on sex offenders all month. So far, they've made six arrests unrelated to sex offenses. In Indianapolis, Derek Thomas, RTV6. 943 probationers and parolees are expected to report to the training academy.